<laughs> if you're in the German cult of BMW and their agenda is that, uh, you know, that's what they want, whether it's working or not, you better tow. It's a lot like COVID and the like mask and California. Yeah. Like you better just tow. don't, don't question any of what we're doing. It's, uh, it's that, or you're, you know, you're a despicable, whatever, like, that's very much how it, how it was with them. And it's so we kind of came to the conclusion that we were doing way better without the digital MPI thing. And so all my clients went off of it. We didn't have it. And so I got this group of, of BMW dealers that are performing at a very high level. They're all very profitable. They're making money. They're doing good. Their CSI is good, but they're not on the, they're not in the Colts. Right. And, um, so I get called into headquarters and I've told this story before and they light me up. You're the problem, blah, blah, blah. And I just said to the guy across the table, I said, what is the average net to gross for a BMW service department in this country? And he didn't know. And, uh, he, he said 1%, but he didn't know. I get it. I wasn't even gone there 10 minutes. And I got a text saying that wasn't the number, you know, whatever, but the number wasn't great. Mm hmm. And my app, you know, my average uh, service department was doing, you know, 300 times that or whatever, whatever the math is on that. And so what they decided to do, which was just as anticlimactic, is they were going to pick uh, three of my stores randomly and do an audit and compare it to MPI stores. They lied about how they did that because they ended up comparing them to the top eight MPI stores, but the top eight MPI stores in the country were still only doing like 60% inspections. We were 98 or some crazy Yeah, number. using paper. Right. Their average upsell, if I remember right, was like 250 or 300 and ours was like 700. We were, we were killing them in every metric. And so the, the, thing or the the reason why the perception is that i'm always right is i'm asking the thing i'm asking the question that gets me closer to the truth quicker i'm not as affected by people's culty well you can't say that or you can't do that or whatever i feel obligated to to be a, an ambassador for our clients in the sense to tell them you know what is working and what isn't without any sort of biases or color in that sense right sure and if something's working i'm i'm gonna tell you that it's working as much as if it isn't working but to ask did your profit go up is like you know it's not the thing to say clearly um yeah and so i don't think that it's that i'm always right it's just that i'm asking the right questions and i'm looking at the the end result so we think when we do tablets and we do dig video inspections the assumption is and the way this is sold in our industry is it's a magic pill right but if you do video inspections all of your problems are going to be solved and when i say or we say that if you can't do it with paper, you can't do it digitally. What we mean is it's not a magic pill because if you don't have the process in place to do it with paper, you're complicating it because the other thing is when you think it's a magic pill, you don't understand that, for example, doing video inspections is a different model. It's a different system, a different process than doing paper, right? In the sense that now your advisors aren't the one presenting the work, your tech is. So now the advisor plays a different role in that. You're completely bypassing a part of the system, but most people, they're not changing their systems because it's, oh, well, if we just do it, it'll work. And it isn't, that isn't, that isn't true. Like if you're just doing the digital inspection, you actually run the risk of your sales going down like with MPI, because you're scaring people away. Thanks so much for watching this clip of Service Driver Revolution. We're uploading new stuff every day, so make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out. If you have a question you'd like us to answer on the show, call 8333-ASK-SDR and we'll answer your question on the show. That's 8333-ASK-SDR. For special deals on our books and training, head over 
to offers.chriscollinsinc.com. Now that's offers.chriscollinsinc.com. I'm Chris Collins, and I'll see you in the next video.